Good morning, this is Kevin from Stingray Biology. Uh, in today's video, we're going to talk about uh, breeding stingrays in a small tank and keeping stingrays in smaller tanks. Um, this is a topic that um, I wanted to talk about for a long time. I get a lot of people uh, asking me questions and messaging me all the time. Oh, what's the minimum size tank I need to keep uh, stingrays and keep them to full adult size or even possibly breeding? And that that question is, is is a loaded question because you know for the average person you know um, who may not be on top of their tank maintenance they're gonna need a bigger tank right but if you're on top of your game and you're doing your water changes and doing your tank maintenance it is possible to keep your stingrays in a smaller tank they can grow to full adult size and the fish will be fine and you can even breed it okay and I'm gonna show you that today so what, what I'm going to show you here is, you see this tank here, okay? I mean, it's part of a bigger system, okay? And, uh, but the top tank here is uh, only 8 feet by 16 by 16. And I have this fish here, okay? She's a female and she's due soon. Um, the hump is not that big. She's maybe only carrying one baby. Her previous batch, she only had one baby right there. And she's about due, okay? And they made it in this tank. Now, they've been in this tank all their lives. They grew up in here. Um, it's fairly tight. Like if I, I, I give you a profile shot, you see they're nearly the width of the tank. Okay, but to breed stingrays, uh, they, they kind of need the length. Okay, so when the male's trying to attempt to mate, they have a little bit more room to swim and uh, not uh, run into uh, obstacles and collide. So you see, I've been able to breed it in this smaller tank. Now. Um, I had another birth uh, today, actually two females gave birth today, and I'm going to show you right now, okay, and that's this tank here, okay, you see the babies are right there, they were just born, um, the females here are pretty big, okay, you can see the profile shot here, the females I would say are about uh, 18 inches, okay, mating happened in this tank and um, I got two males and two females now what happened today is both females gave birth on the same day um, that rarely ever happens but it does happen um, and you can see that's one female right there she's got the bite marks the male already probably mated her last night that's why she's got the bite marks and here's the other female Okay, and same thing, you can see the bite mark all around the edge of the disc, her belly is flat. We got four healthy pups here, alright, now um, something, something I guess uh, tragic did happen. Um, this is a new system here and um, I have the intake of the, of the pump right at the corner of the tank. And I was worried about this, uh, but I had some previous births in, in the other tank and with the same setup and, and it, it didn't happen but one of the pups got sucked in on the intake and uh, uh, it, it really kills me to, to see something like that happen I'm gonna show you right here so see there's the pump intake oh well see that white stuff that's sperm so that made it but you see I got a pup here that got stuck on the intake I don't, I don't know if I can, you can see it it's hard for me to get the camera in here there it goes. See, so I did lose one pup um, to that. Because <laughs> sometimes when pups are born, um, they look, they instinctively look for a hiding place. And uh, given that this tank is all wide open, the only spot that gives them any kind of cover is right there in the corner behind the intake pipe. Um, most likely, what happened is, um, you know, his tail was up, and then the 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 intake just took in the tail, and then she's too small and weak to break free of it so um, I'm gonna get that out now and uh, I'm gonna fish out these pups and uh, I'm gonna pass the camera over to my wife and then she's gonna film me uh, doing the rest of what I need to do okay uh, again I need to go get the ladder I'll be right back so let's see how am I gonna do this where am I gonna put these pups See, I wasn't ready for this. I mean, they, they weren't due for another um, month or so. 
and uh, I didn't have my baskets ready. I wasn't prepped for this. So I'm just winging it right now. I guess the first thing I want to do is pull the pups out. So let me get a, a tub and get some water so I can hold the babies while I figure things out. Covers off. Oh. some water in this tub. And I, I have it's a really tight space here because I already have another basket here. Um, traditionally. I would uh, pull up. Let me get, let me get the white tray, the tub. So I need to sex the pups also. See it? Wow. The, the spots are really orange. I don't know if you can see it in the camera. Mm -hmm. These are going to be really nice. High quality marble Matoro hybrids. This is a male. Again, really nice bright orange spots. Okay. This is a male also. Get a better look, can you see? Okay, so let's see, I'm just gonna set this over here. Um, her previous batch, or well, one of the females' previous batch, was only one pup, and uh, that's them right there. That one looking pretty good, the spots have developed very, very nicely. Uh, I'm very happy with the outcome of this combination of breeding. Um, so yeah, okay, I got the pups out and uh, I need to strap up a, another basket. I'm probably gonna move these guys out and put these little ones in that little basket and uh, either I'll move these guys out into another tank or maybe I'll put a, a larger floating basket right here and transfer them 
up there. Uh, so I finished uh, catching all the pups and what I forgot was about the, the pup that was stuck on the intake. Uh, I'm gonna take that guy out now. Um, actually, I completely forgot all about it. I had cleaned up already. So what I gotta do is I gotta close the valve to the pump. Uh, get to see that pump shake it off. Wow, there's a lot of sperm there too. Let's shake that sperm off the intake. So, let me let the guy out. Such a waste of a pup. Um, get that sperm off there too. Okay. You showing it? Yeah, so that's the pup that got caught on the intake. Um, it was a male. And then we do have sperm, so that's evidence of mating. So I will uh, mark down the date and we'll know when the next time to expect her to be due. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm going to get back to work here. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Oh, uh, actually, I'm not quite done yet. I got to talk a little bit more about keeping the rays in smaller tanks. Okay. So. I mean, as I walk around my facility, I'm sure you guys already seen, you know, I do keep a lot of rays in each individual tank. You know, a lot of people would say that it is overstocked, right? In this case, you see, there's a lot of rays. But, you know, I do my water changes. That's the key. If you maintain the water quality, you see, this system there, there's four adults. There's four adults down there. Um, in some cases, even in my grow-out tanks, you know, this is a... A 50 gallon tank and there's like one two three four four there's five rays in there there's a I think there's five rays in here also and these guys are about like nine ten inches in a in a three by three tank um, I have this pair right here and it's in a pup grow out tank like I said a 50 gallon three by three square and I got two adult rays here um, I want to see if I can breed it in that tank um, so really you know it's all about tank maintenance and uh, if you if you if you keep up your 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 water changes keep your filters clean you know you're able to keep the rays in a in a smaller tank and still be able to enjoy them and without having to sacrifice their health you see look at this this is a system and I, I don't know if the the camera reflects it but these rays are pretty big in here okay you see this that, that, that's like a, a, maybe like a 12 inch ray already. I got two of them in there. Yeah, I got two in there. So, for all you guys who have smaller tanks and do want to keep rays, it is possible. You just can't, you just can't be lazy, all right? Um, and for those of you who don't have the time, not necessarily lazy, but maybe, you know, too many things going on in your life with work and family and kids and so forth, well, um, then in those situations, you're going to need to have a bigger tank uh, and larger water volume so that it can accommodate and balance out for uh, less maintenance, all right? Um, so thank you guys again for watching. Uh, please like, comment below, and subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to build up my YouTube channel here and uh, pass off as much information to you guys as I possibly can. Thank you guys again for watching. Okay, really interesting. So I was showing you a tank earlier uh, where I'm breeding the rays and it was a smaller tank, right? And it's actually like, what, three days later? Um, well, the female gave birth. I was showing you the female and she was um, having a slight little bump. I'm gonna show you now. She's flat now. That was her, if you guys remember. And look, there's her little pup. Pied pearl pups. Pretty cool, huh? And there's one more right here. So, it can be done, right? You just have to be on top of uh, your water changes and uh, tank maintenance. So I just wanted to show you guys that, pretty cool.